Time for another great video on how you can take your strength training to a whole new level by using isometrics in a smart and intelligent way. What I'm talking about is the ratio between your live load and your dead load when it comes to the resistance of the exercise. A live load is the amount of resistance your muscles must contract against in order to either move or hold something up against gravity, be it a weight or your own body. So both yielding isometrics and dynamic exercise work along this way. I've got this 10 pound plate, and in order for me to hold this isometric bicep curl, I need a given level of tension in my muscles. Now the advantage to this is it's very quantifiable, but the disadvantage is that while this is requiring at least a minimum amount of tension in my muscle, it's also a fairly low maximum, so I don't really need to have much tension in the muscle in order to get this done. Well, duh, that's why you lift a heavier plate. So now we've got a 25 pound plate, and you're absolutely right. As I'm holding this here, the amount of tension in my muscle increases. But once again, I am kind of limited to this weight. And that's why we get the whole idea of heavier weights, more tension, AKA that's what builds more strength. But now we're caught in that whole time versus tension compromise because you can work a muscle with a lot of tension, but you can't do it very much, which is why you use low reps, or you can have a lot of time, but you can't have a lot of tension. And no matter what you're doing in your workout, you have to make your compromise between these two and enter overcoming isometrics. Now, overcoming isometrics is entirely the, quote, dead load. I know I'm still working on the terms. If you've got a better way to name these things, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. But with an overcoming isometric, we are putting force against something that we can't move. So theoretically, there's no minimum amount of tension that I can have in my muscles. I could just stand here, and this is pretty relaxed but there's also no maximum either. So I should be able to access the absolute maximum amount of tension I can put in my muscles by having the force I put into the handles as hard as possible. Furthermore, the amount of force and the resistance against the band is always equal. So I can do this for very long periods of time, therefore breaking us out of the time versus tension compromise. However, we have to remember that this is driven entirely by my focus and concentration. And that, my friend, is why I created my approach I call hybrid isometrics. Hybrid isometrics make use of both live and dead loads in the same exercise. So in this example, I'm doing a hybrid isometric push-up. I'm doing that at a fairly good incline, so I don't have a whole lot of resistance against gravity, and I'm pushing myself against my iso loop here on this rack. Now, if I wanted to increase the amount of live load, I can bring myself down so I'm working more against gravity, but I'm still accessing a very high degree of muscle tension, but now it's a little bit easier because most of that tension is responding to a live load, and I'm using the iso loop as the overcoming portion of it, or the dead load, just to push me right over the top to the maximum tension allowed. And this is the type of exercise that when people try it at first, they're like, okay, it's no big deal, and their eyes bug out of their socket, and they're like, oh my gosh, why are my biceps cramping? Why are my quads going so crazy? I tell them it's simple. You've never worked your muscles that hard before. Even people with years of strength training experience will do something like a hybrid lunge or a squat, and they'll immediately say, I've never felt my legs work that hard, and it's because they're using a live load to get them to work to a certain degree, and then, of course, the dead load is pushing them right up to their top level of performance and beyond. And of course, there's pros and cons to how you skew that ratio. If you use a little bit of live load and a lot of dead load, then you can hold that isometric for a relatively long period of time. It's just maybe going to be a little bit harder to access that ultimate peak of muscle tension. But if you upgrade and you use a lot more live load and a little bit of dead load, then it's gonna be very easy to push your muscles absolutely to their max, but you're probably not gonna be able to hold it nearly as long or for as many sets. And if you wanna learn more, check out my Overcoming Isometrics playlist, as well as this video, which will kinda of get you started as well, and my book, Overcoming Isometrics. The link is down below in the description. Comments section is for questions. If you need any further clarification on anything I talked about here, thank you so much for watching. Be fit and live free.